Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. October 17, Tuesday, our market rebounded up 82.07 points or up 1.32% to close at 6,280.9. Value turnover is at 5.2 billion pesos. So our market uh, rebounded as investors got some relief. No, from on the ongoing diplomatic efforts to contain the geopolitical tension in Middle East. No? Yan yung mga nasa news right now, eh, the Israel-Hamas uh, conflict. But uh, remember, the Russia-Ukraine war is not yet over. No? But the market will probably uh, digest or mapapagod rin sila sa ganitong news. Remember, the US-Afghanistan war, natapos yan after 20 years. So this will not end anytime. And it will just... Uh, no? Hanggang mapagod lang yung media and everyone. No? Even COVID. Right now, we still have COVID but the market already digested COVID. And it, look, it, it looks like uh, we're treating COVID as if it's a normal flu. No? So anyway, uh, Semirara closed lower, no? declining ahead of its X date uh, on October 20. So most of the uh, sectors are up, led by SM Prime. Emerging as the top index gainer. Oh. Anyway, uh, Converge up 4.17%. No? So, 10.10. Above 10.10 na siya. Anyway, well, big news on on BPI. They're pricing its uh, fixed rate bonds. It's 5 billion fixed rate bonds at 6.425%. Uh, percent. No, for 2025, it's a 1.5 year fixed rate bonds. No? So it's a technically, pwede na to eh, no? For for diversification purposes. No? So it's a short term, medium term. No? So 1.5 years lang naman, 6.425%. No? Better than trading in this kind of market wherein there's a lot of volatility. No, ang hirap, no? But anyway, DJ Plus closed lower today as they made uh, some clarifications that they have no plans of developing Boracay Casino. Remember, yesterday morning, some news article reported that DJ Plus uh, is looking to do its uh, Boracay Casino, its $500 million uh, integrated resort in Boracay. So the market rallied on that news, but uh, towards the closing yesterday, the Galaxy Macau or the foreign partner of uh, quote unquote supposedly the partner for DG Plus or LR uh, made some announcement that they're not uh, interested in pursuing this project. Uh, so they're focusing right now on revi and reviving Macau. Uh, so this morning, uh, DG Plus also announced that. Uh, yun nga, they will not be pursuing it. Actually, that's more of a good news than a bad news because this project, uh, it's $500 million or close to 30 billion pesos project. It involves a lot of capital, capex. And yun nga, uh, right now, with the digital transformation, mas mabuti nga na they focus on, on uh, developing its uh, online business. Anyway, House Stock also announces some cash dividend to shareholders boosted by strong second quarter performance. Uh, 7-Eleven elected, no? uh, or at least their CEO got elected, si Paterno, as chair of the National Association of Convenience uh, Stores. Uh, Alter swings to profitability in the first half of the year as they record a consolidated net income of around 38 million pesos on back of higher revenues. Uh, ASEN, by the way, got a 5 billion loan facility from Metro Bank for its renewable projects. So, uh, they just keep on borrowing. No? So, talagang alanganin, pangit ng galawang ganyan eh. Anyway, Meralco also proposed some new terms for reference to the Department of Energy for the procurement of its 1,800 megawatt capacity requirement. So what else? Uh, so, ganyan yung mga buhay na right now. No? 
UBP, V-Rate, ASEN, not much market moving news. Si AC, no one wants it, no? So, sabi nga do, no? It really depends on where, you're, where, where you look at, no? But, definitely, ang sarap i-trade ng AC. Remember before, no? Sabi ko nga, uh, you only need 12 pesos to break even there. And, nga, ang lalay, ang sarap ng mga spread ng AC niya, especially below 600, no? So, it's a challenging environment. So, take chance of yung mga ganyang gains, no? Tugs, by the way, also approved the incorporation of Kaibuok Star Shipyard, FYI lang. No? So, DNL, congratulations, was also recognized for its corporate governance practices by the Institute of Corporate uh, Directors. No? FCG. No? Uh, this is one of those uh, sell-on news talaga. No? Their revenues for fiscal year ending June 30 surged by 75% year-on-year to around 428 Billion. This is because of the, its aggressive store expansions and openings. Uh, net income also jumped by 133% year on year to around 462.6 million uh, because of increasing volume and efficient management of its overhead costs. No, it's weird. No, na pangalan niya Figaro, but its uh, driver is really the Angel's Pizza. No? So even before, no, early 2000. Um, the Liu family didn't start Figaro. They just acquired it from uh, uh, si Chit Huan, no, of Echo Store. Tapos si Chit Huan, umexit na rin dyan. But, yun nga, with capital infusion, they opened Tienma, they opened uh, Angel's Pizza. Angel's Pizza yata, dating Domino's Pizza yan. No? But when their franchise ended, uh, sayang yung machinery, they started Angel's Pizza but uh, na-hype or at least na-grow because of their creamy spinach dip and yun, yun nga, bumenta not just in the Philippines but also uh, to other uh, nationals no? this is also the reason why Monde invested 15% stake in Figaro no? anyway, our passcode for today is creamy spinach dip no, yan yung favorite ng mga tao no? it's really good naman no? and a lot of um, Filipinos or at least pizza owners copied or at least uh, offered creamy spinach on their menu sarap ba naman no? guilty kaka guilty eh, no? so again thank you very much for listening stay safe bye